Outs 2022 special. I'm here with Phil in San Francisco with the Coin Out Symposium, which is just about to start. And it's going to be a very exciting day. We've got some great speakers, jam packed full of events, and we've got Phil's uh, highlight at the lunchtime session. What's that going to be looking like? Oh, I'm absolutely terrified. So, so I have the absolute honor today of doing a fireside chat with Punk6529, uh, which is going to be amazing. So I need to go and prep and work out how on earth I do this. And we're really excited to also tell you some news about the uh, BVI Bass Pact. We've got some exclusive preview of how that's going to look, when that's going to be around, and how it's going to affect everyone that listens to this podcast. So stay tuned. Uh, looking forward to giving you more from this conference. And welcome to the midpoint update for the CoinOuts 2022 here in San Francisco. It's been a great day so far. We've had uh, some very, very good speakers and a wide range of interesting topics. One of the keynotes was Phil interviewing Punk6529 and looking at his philosophy around nfts and the metaverse and the way in which crypto could change the world and how we are now finished for the day at coin 2022 I'm here with mr graham relatively refreshed after his um keynote speech interviewing 6529 we've had a really good day as i mentioned before in the brief update and we had a really good panel with some of our clients and some other experts in this space talking about investing in a crypto winter good turnout good wide variety of topics and now we're going for a couple of drinks and a speaker dinner so phil how do you think it went today ah, my bit's over and i'm pleased about that um i'll talk about that in a sec i think what was really interesting for me we've been doing coin out since 2017 um that the, the, the founder sort of sponsors of it and, and, and really created a community that was the idea um wanting people who were invested in such an early stage to know that they had service providers around that, that, that could help them i think Anecdotally, what was really interesting is that the sort of the ones we did in 2017 and 2018, we were guessing. You know, I, I think I think back to them, and you, and you think everyone was giving it a go at showing absolute bullishness. So this is really exciting. This technology, these people, it's going to be incredible. But we were guessing, mm -hmm. and I think the big difference I felt today was that the quality of people we had on the stage today. They've been through a lot. You know, they, they, it, it sounds like a ridiculously small period of time, but that five years, the, the 2017 ride to 2022, how much we've learned about mm -hmm. this industry in that period. And you could sense it, right? I mean, I, I could. You, you, people were not giving you guesses. People were not giving you um, any form of educated beliefs as to, as to where this might go. They, they, they've ridden a storm. I mean, you, you watch this space. Could you, could you feel that as well? I think there were some people on the stage who were saying it was their third crypto winter. They've yeah. been in the space since well before 2015, 2016. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The lessons learned and that, that wisdom that comes from that is being yeah. disseminated amongst the community. I particularly liked, and I mentioned this in the update, one of the lawyers talking about how they like to check in to see what their peers are doing yeah. and get a kind of a cohesive herd going. I'm not sure herd yeah. is the right word, but the idea that there's safety <laughs> in numbers and it kind of sense checks of what you're doing is, is kind of aligned with how the industry generally perceives things to be. Yep. Well, that's a good thing about these events. Not only are they in person, you're not just doing lots of Zoom calls, but you're meeting people outside the meeting room and, and getting ideas and getting a sense of, so what are you seeing and what are you dealing with? Yeah, and it was great. And whatever you're interested in, whether it was funds or service providers or the DAO stuff or even the NFT stuff, yep. there was an event here. There was people here that you could meet with and connect with. And it was a, a, a thorough success, I'd have to say. Yeah, no, I fully agree. I would say the two two hottest topics I would say that people wanted to talk about, A, accessing international exchanges um, <laughs> as US managers, pretty much came up on every panel. Um, we're not going to get into that now, um, but if anyone wants to talk about that at any point in time, we, we'd love to hear from you, and we certainly have some ideas and some suggestions in that space. And then to just conclude on sort of Punk6529, um, who was brilliant, I have to say, um, and thoroughly entertaining. And, and his conclusion was sort of if you read his latest uh, sort of tw a Twitter thread um, from Halloween um, what he talks about is could this all end and how could it end and he, and he articulates beautifully how, how this might be finishing for us but then I asked him well should we give up or what should we do and it was such a rallying cry it was such an important message to the community that, that what we do matters and actually how we do it matters. And exactly as you said, that herd mentality, getting a bunch of very sensible people together who believe in this space in a, in a cynical way. Look at Mark, who, who's an absolute crypto genius, but comes with a great deal of cynicism in everything he looks at. Applied cynicism. Applied cynicism. That's how we should see it. But fundamentally, you bring those people together in this community, and together, the, the actual powerful message you can give global regulators, you, you, can, you can give the wider cynics that are out there, is, is so powerful. And, and I think that resonated for me on almost every panel. Agree. And it, it's, it's very rare for these sorts of events to have that kind of flow and synergy. Sometimes mm. they can be a bit disjointed, or there's just so much going on, you can't really get a coherent sense of purpose of attending the event. But I think this is nicely 
well aligned in terms of the speakers and the breadth of topics mm. wasn't too big that it was kind of a bit overwhelming and yep. you kind of get torn in all sorts of different directions because there's so many people to speak to or so many yep. events to go to yeah this this worked really really well and i'm glad we're a part of it i'm glad we attended and i think there'll be a lot of contacts and follow-ups to come for for many weeks from this completely agree now, before we wrap up just wanted to give our exclusive uh, sort of announcement that we promised earlier um, the BVI Vast Pact is obviously on its way uh, a lot of people have been asking us about it um, and, and it's been rumoured for, for a long time happy to say that, that it will be in by, by the end of the year and I, and I think the most important thing to announce we're not going to get into any detail but again if you're out there and you want to talk about it please get in touch the most important thing to, to announce and, and this is a world exclusive I believe uh, thank you uh, is to say that token issuers are not going to be part of, of this particular bit of legislation. We've seen such unbelievable use mm -hmm. of, of BVI vehicles in particular as, as token issuance vehicles for a whole bunch of very sensible reasons. And I think the fact that the VASP isn't going to touch on it in, in, in this certain iteration um, will bring an awful sigh of relief from, from a huge number of people. There you go. You heard it here first. Here we go. Right. right. Can we go and drink? Let's done. We're done. Let's go. All right. Cool. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks very much. Cheers. Take bye care. Bye. bye.